Okay, this is my Punch is always tier list, and, uh, this is my opinion, and, oh, here we go. First of all, we have the Mime. It's useful for plants that have long cooldowns, such as Tall Nut, Walnut, or things like that. Probably a uh, A tier, I guess. Come on. Gotta pull up the names here. Okay, the cob cannon, very useful, very powerful, but kind of expensive. And I, and I like it. It'll probably be a uh, spike rock, it's just a spike weed, but better, so. Still kind of suffers from the high cost of the upgrade plants, so. Probably a uh, the gold magnet. I have not used this yet, so it's bombed here. Uh, winter melon, very powerful, but it's still pretty expensive. It, I think it belongs in a. Cattail, probably one of my favorite plants in the game. Uh, it's an S. The Gloom Shroom, very close range plant. The only time I ever see this useful is in the Shroom Walk uh, strategy, so probably B. The Twin Sunflowers. Uh, it's just like a regular sunflower, but more expensive, so probably A, uh, or S. P Gatling. This can absolutely tear apart hordes of zombies if you pair it up with a torch wood. I like it. Belongs in A. The umbrella leaf, uh, I do like the utility it has, but I don't see it, but I don't see myself using a lot, so probably see. The melon pole, really good, good firepower for the cost. Nice splash damage, nice damage all overall, so probably S. The Marigold, probably not gonna use this. I don't really see the use in it besides generating free money, so it's probably C. Garlic opens a lot of new strategies. I, don't know, I like it. It's B. Coffee bean allows you to use uh, mushrooms and stuff in the day. Can be pretty useful, but I don't know. I save mushrooms for a night. Kernel pork, kernel pole, really, really good. It's really good for the price. And it's just better than Peacher. A. The. 
the flower pot. Otherwise, you plan on roost during the roof section of the campaign. I mean, you're pretty much the only. I mean, it's all right. Cabbage pole is only useful in the first levels of the roof section of the campaign, but then again, gets outclassed by a bunch of other plants. So probably the magnet shroom is able to counter, counter a lot of plants, and uh, can counter football zombies, bucket heads. So I like it. A. The pumpkin is able to shield a plant. Yeah, I mean, it just pretty much protects your plant. It's pretty much all about it. Star fruit. It's really cheap cost if you allow it to spam it. And it's more useful than a split pea, so. Mmm, I give it S. The split pea is only made to counter one kind of plant, or one kind of zombie. But. You only encounter that zombie if they're part of that game, so it's D. The Blover has good utility, but only against zombies in the fog section of the game, so probably C. Ugh. Where do I begin with this thing? It it's only made of one can counter, only one kind of plant. Only does enough damage as a pea shooter, so it's it's pretty much one of the worst plants in the game. The plan uh does have utility in the fox section game it's pretty much only useful there so probably uh, let's see the the sea shroom is I mean it's like free defense in the fog <clears throat> it's just pretty much a wire down version of the uh, this is wire down version of the puff shroom, so I don't know, probably C or D. Tall nut. It's just like the walnut walnut but better. Although it does have a although it is more expensive, but it's able to counter dolphin riders and a bunch of other and a bunch of other zombies, so I don't know. I like it. Torchwood pairs really good with the Gavin P. Well, actually, you can move the Gavin P up to S. Spike weed. I really like it. It's a source of free damage, and I think it's useful in the shroom walk strategy, so, uh, Yeah, say the pepper. Uh, I don't really use it that much. Uh, I mean, yeah, it can be useful against the zombonies, but it, I don't really use it that lot. It's still useful though, so B. The, the tingle kelp. Is good is a good counter for dolphin riders. And it's good single uh and is a good uh single use plant. It's really useful in the in the pool level, so 
I like it. The three Peter is a. I'm not sure how to put it. B and A. It is able to solo cone heads. I do like that. Yeah, B. Squash, really good single use plant, and deserves. I know. S plus. Uh, the lily pad is useful for a shield in the pool. Has a fast reach charge, cheap cost. Yeah, it deserves to be. Doom Shroom. This guy's a nuke. He has some of the best firepower in the game. I A tier. The next point is the ice room is it is it is useful against football zombies. But I don't really see myself using one, so C. The Scare Shroom. It's a really good source. Cheap firepower in the game. It's it's best in the back rows. So B tier. Uh the Hypno Shroom. I only find it useful against, uh, uh, like football zombie, football zombies or other high power plants during the game. But then again, I just use the squash. It's all right. Or, well, it's kind of trash. Uh, that's Grave Buster. Yeah, it's useful clearing on graves as it's a cheap cost, fast recharge. I I do like it. The the sunshroom only I only use it in night levels. But then again, sunflowers are still probably a better choice, so let's see. Fume Shroom, really good when he shoots damages pretty much every zombie in the lane. Cheap cost, spammable, S. Puff Shroom, one of the most broken and best plants in the game. Spam it, you can beat a lot of night levels with, with this guy alone, so... That's plus. Repeater. Really good firepower for the price. I don't know. It's S. Chomper, uh, still probably one of the worst plants in the game. Begs 14 seconds after he eats a zombie just to finally swallow him. I don't know, it's trash. I don't know. Who knows? Um, I'm not sure which is worse. Cactus, Chomp, or that. I don't know. The, um, the Snow Pea. It's able solo buck cone heads. And, and does have a pretty good price and good uh, effect. So, A, I like it. The potato mine, it's good, it has good firepower, and a really cheap cost, but then again, it takes a slow time to kind of set itself up, so, uh, I don't know, I like beaker. This guy is dirt treat for what he, I mean, Walnut's a dirt treat for what he offers. 
and I don't know. I like him. Then again, you still have the tall nuts, so. And, and. Cherry Bomb, 3x3, three three, has a 3x3 three three explosion, instant kill. I like it, but I don't really use it a lot, so. The Sunflower, is, you're going to be pretty much using this plan the entire game, no matter what. It's S. And last but not least, the pea shooter. Pretty much the same thing as cabbage pole. Gets outclassed really easily. Yeah. I mean, that's the tier list. Hope you enjoyed, so. Bye.